Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, guys. What's up, bro? I got a little printout of the script today. I don't know if you want to take a look at it. Sure. If that helps you, um, just so you're up to speed. Okay. Now when we actually start rolling. Um, pocket. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's good. All right, cool. Well, thank you once again for being here with us. Everything's looking good. Cameras look great. Yeah. Sound rolling? Cool. All right, let's say it. See speed. Um, 101, take one, soft sticks. Mark. On December 25th, we're excited to cap off our 2020 season as we go head to head with the Denver Broncos here in Los Angeles. As we approach the year's end, me and my fellow, oh, sorry. As we approach the year's end, my fellow players and I are taking stock of how we have supported our fellow community and how we can contribute even further in the coming years. When we give back to our community, we wanna make sure our support has a meaningful impact. And that's why this year, the Los Angeles Rams are committed to celebrating one of the most selfless, caring individuals we know. A true leader in the art of altruism and a dedicated helping hand at the Boys and Girls Club, Hollywood Food Coalition, The People's Concern, and Set the Expectation Organization. And one of the youngest nominees of the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, Los Angeles Rams' own Tremaine Ingram Jr. Okay. Everything he does is just about his community and it's about the people he does life with. It's not about people knowing about it, it's not about him talking about it, it's just who he is each and every day. Hello, Tremaine. It's Mom. Congratulations on this amazing amazing nomination. Hi Tremaine, it's your grandma Sonia. I was so happy that you had been nominated for this prestigious award. Just wanted to tell you congratulations on your nomination for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a little biased, but I don't think that there's anybody else that's more deserving of this award than you. Hey Tremaine, hey man, Coach Sweeney. First of all, I'm freaking proud of you, man. Tremaine, you are selfless with this family. You are selfless with your friends. You are selfless with your community. You are selfless with your coworkers. And Tremaine, this is an honor that is not just one that is just for this year, but this is an honor that that you have been working on since you've been a little boy. What's up, brother? Big wet. Look, man, I've really enjoyed the last couple of years getting to be your teammate being in the same room in the offensive line. But the other night was really special, getting to be a part of telling you that you were this year's Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee for the Los Angeles Rams. The selflessness, the humility, the way that you have consistently used your platform in so many powerful and positive ways um, has been evident from the jump since you got here as a rookie. It goes without saying that you are exceptional in every, every area of your life. Uh, I knew from first meeting you that you were raised with love. I just remember how much you blew me away with your kindness and your generosity. From the moment you walked in here, you walked in here so humble and so ready to work. Because you are absolutely the number one guy who does the most and does not want to be noticed for it. We're so proud of you. Continue being the role model that you are to these kids. Continue being the humble servant that you are. One of the things that you did that just really spotlighted your character is one day your grandmother, my mother, was sitting on the couch not doing well and uh, struggling with cancer and you rang the doorbell and she just cried because she was so touched by how you took time out of your busy schedule to just let her know that you love her. I'm always so proud of you and who you are as a young man, your character, your love, your kindness, your selflessness. You are a man of integrity a man that's willing to help anyone who is in need. To see how you've gone from the cutest, sweetest nine-year-old boy to this man of 24. And I'm just so proud of you and, and thankful to know you've made me a better coach and a better man. You have always thought of others. I knew the first time that I met you, you had a big heart. 
You know, it's not often that a young man in your position runs to learn how they can get involved with the domestic violence agency. From the moment I met you, I can tell that there was a lot going on in that brain of yours and that you wanted to make an impact in the community where you reside. There is not a better person, a more humble person, a more giving person. I value your heart. Your heart is in the right place. Your love for family, your love for community, even your heart for God. We love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. I love you. We love you. The angel above you loves you. You know, just proud of everything that you've done from, you know, coming in here and helping us win national championship. There you are right there, big dog. 73 right there on my wall. Really grateful for you, but congratulations. You deserve it, my man. You're an amazing son, amazing friend, an amazing brother, an amazing teammate. And because of you, because of people like you, you make this world a better place. Hmm. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love my boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love my boy. Nice. Come on. Are they <laughs> tearing up? Oh, oh, congratulations. Totally. <laughs> Oh. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Let them tears fall. Oh, what I'm looking at. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you look good. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. I know. Yeah, it's like, not this. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got on the plane and got here. I just talked to you too. <laughs> we wouldn't miss this for the world. We just, we had to be here and mm -hmm. they made it possible. We're just super proud of you. It makes me happy that I'm, I'm doing, you know, the things that I'm doing are, are, are working and they're, and they're all right. And I should stay the path because, you know, not just because I'm being celebrated, but just because it is making a difference. Thank you.